Hello everyone, I am your host for WWE 2K19 and this is NXT. Tonight we continue our tournament for the NXT Championship to name the number one contender for Bobby Lashley. We'll have Leo Rush going up against Velveteen Dream and Johnny Gargano going up against... Adam Cole. Round two of our NXT Championship Tournament is starting tonight. Kyrie Sane still the champion after successfully defending against Cobra Moon at TakeOver. Kyrie Zane still has more words for her former challenger Shayna Baszler. Of course, Kyrie Zane defended her championship at NXT 2 against Shayna Baszler. That's when Cobra Moon made her introduction to NXT, attacking both of these women which led to her championship match at NXT TakeOver 3. Baszler and Sane have a long history here on NXT. And Kyrie Sane looking to put her title on the line one more time against Shayna Baszler. Are we gonna see this again? We have the new Battlezone Concept P pay-per-view coming up in just a couple weeks. Could we have a rematch for the NXT Women's Championship? Kyrie Zane making her feelings about Shayna Baszler known here tonight. And of course, we also have Cobra Moon and Bianca Belair in one on one action later tonight. And now round two of the NXT Championship Tournament gets underway here tonight. We'll have Leo Rush versus Velveteen Dream. That's coming up next.
Leo Rush, accompanied by his partners in the franchise. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Bobby Lashley. And from Washington, D.C., weighing in at 160 pounds, Leo Rush. General Manager number one assassin has handpicked Bobby Lashley to be his NXT champion. And Leo Rush, part of his squad as well, the whole crew together known as the franchise. What I want to know is, it's obvious the number one assassin is trying to push Leo Rush to be the winner of this tournament, but what's going to happen if it's Leo Rush versus Lashley at Battle Zone? Number one assassin is going to have his crew pitted against each other? Nah, number one assassin is up to something, and I don't like it. Leo Rush picking up the upset victory last week over Ricochet, the new WWE Cruiserweight Champion Ricochet. So that was definitely a disappointing loss for the champion. And his opponent, from Capitol Hill, Washington, D.C., weighing in at 227 pounds, the Latin Dream. Velveteen Dream picked up a surprise victory over former NXT champion Aleister Black. Aleister Black was our last champion who lost to Bobby Lashley and knocked out of the first round by Velveteen Dream in a very shocking upset last week on NXT. Velveteen Dream making the most of his opportunities. He hasn't gotten many opportunities lately on NXT. We obviously all know how talented this young man is. But he definitely took full advantage of that opportunity put in front of him last week. Can he continue his momentum here tonight? Can he get a round two win over Leo Rush? Of course, the odds are going to be stacked against him with the franchise in Leo Rush's corner. But Velveteen Dream, I think most of this WWE Universe here on NXT is behind you here tonight. They can't wait to see you knock off Leo Rush and move into the championship round next week. Will you be facing Johnny Gargano? Will it be Adam Cole? I don't know. We'll find out later tonight in the main event. Although we might be getting ahead of ourselves already, calling Velveteen Dream the winner of this match. It hasn't even started yet. And Leo Rush did get a very big win against Ricochet last week, as I said. So Leo Rush, very capable. And when you have the franchise behind you, we already know that anything is possible. Just look at the NXT gold around Bobby Lashley's waist. And round two is underway. Leo Rush going right at Velveteen. Disrespectful slap from the cocky, the arrogant Leo Rush. And there's the cockiness on display.
Rush looking strong just like he did against Ricochet last week in the first round of this tournament. Leo Rush going to the top. He's coming off. He misses with the elbow drop. Velveteen Dream gets out of the way. Can he capitalize? Velveteen Dream now with a little offense of his own. Leo Rush back to his feet after rolling out of the way. Both men miss each other. The mat takes them both down. Leo Rush with the suplex puts himself back in charge of this matchup. And Leo Rush setting up, looking to finish this match off already. And Leo Rush going for the pin. One, two. No, Velveteen Dream gets the shoulder up. He's not eliminated yet. He's had a couple opportunities, but hasn't been able to take advantage of it. Leo Rush rolls out of the way. Will Velveteen Dream showboating in the ring? Leo Rush takes advantage of it. Leo Rush wants to fly going back to that top rope and he comes off, this time he hits it. Second time's the charge, goes for the pin. One, two, nope, Velveteen Dream still not done yet, gets the shoulder up. This round two contest continues. Much different showing from Velveteen Dream than we saw last week when he did beat Alistair Black in this ring. But a very similar showing from Leo Rush. A level of dominance from Leo Rush in recent weeks that we have not been seeing. And he goes for the cover. One, two, no, Velveteen Dream still has a little bit left in the tank. Is he just kicking out on instinct? What's he got going on? And now Leo Rush wants to finish this match off. He's going for it one more time. Hits it! Velveteen Dream's been busted open. Leo Rush going for the cover. One, two. No, Velveteen Dream still in this matchup. How does he have anything left? Busted up wide open. Still keeps getting his shoulder up. Leo off the top ropes, going for the cover. Can this one do it? One, two, three. No! Velveteen Dream just got the shoulder up. Leo Rush can't believe it. He thought he had it. I thought he had it. Everyone in this arena thought he had it. Lashley, a number one assassin, thought he had it. I think even Velveteen Dream thought he had it. But he was able to just get the shoulder up. 
now going to work on his own. Velveteen Dream going to go high now. Off the top rope, Leo Rush rolls out of the way. own cockiness and arrogance. Maybe should have taken advantage. Leo Rush standing tall again. for the third time. This one's got to do it. One, two, three, and Leo Rush is moving on. Velveteen Dream's hopes have died here tonight. The NXT Championship will remain out of grasp for Velveteen Dream. He will not advance any further in this contest, but Leo Rush goes into the final round. Will he face Johnny Gargano? Will he face Adam Cole? We'll find that out later tonight in the main event, but what we do know is that Leo Rush is one match away from a number one contender's opportunity against his partner, Bobby Lashley. Here is your winner, Leo Rush. Coming up next, we have one-on-one -on -one women's action. Bianca Belair goes up against newcomer Cobra Moon, and that match is coming up next. Here comes Bianca Belair. She asked for this match last week, wondering why Cobra Moon was granted a title opportunity. Making her way to the ring from Knoxville, Tennessee, Bianca Belair. Cobra Moon, of course, just stepping onto the NXT scene just a few weeks ago. Making her introduction at TakeOver 2 in the Shayna Baszler versus Kyrie Sane match. Win after both women. And in the weeks following up from that, got herself into the title match at NXT 3. Kyrie Sane won, retained the championship. But Bianca Belair, who's been doing work here on NXT for quite some time and in recent weeks and months, has been taking out legends like Ivory like Jacqueline and hasn't gotten her title opportunity yet. So she definitely wants to get her hands on Cobra Moon tonight and show the newcomer whose ring this really is. The mysterious Cobra Moon making her way, coming from the coming by way of Lucha Underground. 
and her opponent, from San Luis Potosi, Mexico, the Queen, Kola Boom. standing across this ring from each other, ready to get started. The bell rings, this match is officially on. Bianca Belair gets the first strike. Finally back with a little offense herself. Too early to go for the pin, Bianca. Cobra Moon sliding out of the way. Bianca reverses the suplex. Bianca has been something of a reformed woman of sorts on NXT and has definitely benefited her in the ring. The only thing she's yet to accomplish is getting that NXT championship. Of course her showing tonight against the former number one contender can only further help her stock. Not that she has much more to prove here in NXT. 
In fact, it might be Cobra Moon who needs this win tonight a little bit more than Bianca Belair does. Despite being handed early championship opportunities, she's still the newcomer. She's still the one who has to prove herself here on NXT to show everyone else in that locker room that she belongs. And Cobra Moon, she's got it locked in. Can she make Bianca Belair tap? The two women struggling down on the ring. And Bianca Belair able to get out of the hold. but you know the damage was already done. Bianca Belair going for the cover. Cobra Moon gets the shoulder up. Bianca Belair looking for it. Cobra Moon with the reversal. And she locks in the submission again. Bianca Belair too close to the ropes. the counter <laughs> Belair counters Cobra Moon into the corner Bianca going to work Cobra Moon gets the shoulder up.
Bianca Belair looking to fly, goes to the top rope. And gets the knee up. punishment she's taken tonight, Bianca Belair is still fighting. Her championship means a whole hell of a lot to her, and she's showing it here tonight. And this could be a big win for Bianca Belair if she can pull this off. and going for the cover. One, two, two three. three. Bianca Belair picks up the victory. A back and forth match between these two. Both women showing great resilience, but Bianca Belair continuing her role. Here is your winner, Bianca Belair. And now it's time for our main event. The second round two matchup of the night as Adam Cole and Johnny Gargano go one on one looking for a chance to move on to the final round of the NXT Championship Tournament. The winner of this match moves on to face Leo Rush next week in the finals of the NXT Championship Tournament. The winner of this tournament becomes the number one contender to face NXT Champion Bobby Lashley at the new Battle Making Zone pay-per-view. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Bobby Fish, Kyle O'Reilly, and Roderick Strong, representing the Undisputed Era, from Panama City, Florida, weighing in at 205 pounds, the WWE United Kingdom Champion, Adam Cole. Adam Cole always flanked by his undisputed Arab buddies. Bobby Fish, Kyle O'Reilly, and Roderick Strong.
opponent from Cleveland, Ohio, weighing in at 199 pounds, Johnny Gargano. And what a run this man has been on the past couple months here on NXT. Of course, since number one assassin showed up and revealed that he was the GM of NXT, he's been going at throwing obstacle after obstacle, hurdle after hurdle in front of Johnny Gargano. And Johnny Gargano has passed every single one of them. There's only two things Johnny Gargano has yet to do, and that's kick number one assassin's ass in a one-on-one -on -one match, and that's to win the NXT Championship. He's looking for an opportunity to do that with a win over Adam Cole tonight. He'll get to face number one assassin's Leo Rush. The bell's underway. Johnny Gargano goes at but Adam Cole counters. Adam Cole with the DDT to strike first in this matchup. Both these men want that championship. Both of these men. But while both of these men want that championship, you got to think it's just a little bit more personal for Johnny Gargano, knowing that the champion is number one assassin's his very own hand pick. Bobby Lashley, who made his return to NXT and was instantly just gifted a number one champion, a number one contender's opportunity for the championship. Johnny Gargano going high, he's looking to fly. He connects with Adam Cole, he does, he hits the frog splash. Adam Cole with the roll up. Johnny Gargano instantly kicks out. Caught him off guard, but he was able to kick out. And there it is, the distraction from Roderick Strong. Adam Cole takes over. Adam Cole taking advantage of that distraction. Cole with the reverse roll up, going for that cover. Johnny Gargano reverses the pin. Two. Adam Cole reverses the pin himself. Gargano just kicks out. Adam Cole with another pin opportunity. One. Johnny Gargano just kicks out. The agility from Johnny Gargano. <laughs> Through 
through the ro ropes with that shoulder block. And now Gargano feeling it. This time he hits it, goes for the pin. One, two, three. Johnny Gargano's moving on. Undisputed Era tried to help out their buddy Adam Cole, and Adam Cole had a good run, had a couple close opportunities, but Johnny Gargano just so determined. Johnny Gargano standing tall. He's going to the championship round. He will face Leo Rush with an opportunity on the line to face Bobby Lashley at Battle Zone for the NXT Championship. And here comes the GM of NXT, number one assassin. What a great round two we just had tonight. Leo Rush versus Velveteen Dream. Johnny Gargano versus Adam Cole. It's been a great night here tonight on NXT. And next week, the, tonight's two winners, Leo Rush and Johnny Gargano, will go one-on-one, -on -one, the winner to become the number one contender at Battle Zone to face my champion, Bobby Lashley. So you all excited about Johnny Gargano just winning that match? All right, Johnny, we'll go ahead and come on out here so I can congratulate you myself. And here comes Johnny Gargano to face him against his best friend, number one assassin. And just that was sarcasm just in case it didn't register. There may be no two people who ate each other more in the NXT locker room than number one assassin and Johnny Gargano.
All right, Johnny Gargano, make the most of your opportunity. You just beat Adam Cole in the Undisputed Era tonight. But next week, it's not just going to be Leo Rush you're in the ring with. You're going to have Bobby Lashley at ringside. You're going to have me at ringside. Three on one. You think you can really overcome those odds, Johnny? And Johnny Gargano was more than confident that he can handle the odds. He just will beat three men right now in against Undisputed Era, beating Adam Cole in that ring. Johnny Gargano has handled every obstacle number one assassin has thrown at him. That's a strong attitude to have, Johnny. You can go far here. But just know your road to NXT Battle Zone ends next week. You're not going any further than the franchise. Assassin, you and those guys that you got rolling with you, none of you are good enough. None of y'all can hang with me. That's why you have to keep putting obstacles to keep me away. You've hand-selected your crew, your winners, your champion. I keep knocking them down. Johnny, just go back to the locker room before you piss me off here tonight. You've had a good night. Don't let this night end on a sour note. Assassin sucker punching Johnny Gargano. Gargano with the cutter fighting back. Oh no, what's number one assassin gonna do with that sledgehammer? Oh no! He took Johnny Gargano out with that sledgehammer, laid him out. Oh my God, is this what Johnny Gargano has waiting for him next week in the final round of the NXT Championship Tournament? We'll see you next week. And, until, and before then, we also got SummerSlam. Don't miss that coming up next.